Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We have an armor set to find, so let's see if we can find it. What do we have here? George Herbert's letter. What is this here? Dear Hedwiga, you were absolutely correct to advise against this journey. Why did the Dean of Archaeology entrust its leadership to the hands of this squadron? Who found the Violet Ruby of Edgwyn Vell? Me or her? You must know the Witcher has returned after all. The Ruby removed the barrier. As I held it as I held it would from the as I held it would from the start. Okay. And allowed him to explore the interior. Can you believe the Witcher almost convinced that Duchamp to return to town to hire additional guards? We don't know what dangers are in store for us. Now, there's someone who knows how to pad this billable, his billable hours. Duchamp took the idea, recalling the tale about the tomb being cursed. Yet, I convinced the company not to put any stock in fairy tales. We must hurry, I said, for what is... What if someone beats us to it and robs the elven treasury first? Because, as you know, according to my translation, the most precious can only mean one thing. The lost treasure of King Thaf. Soon it shall be ours, bloodstains. Letter addendum partially obscured by bloodstains. The Witcher was right, we should, we should never have gone in there. That is an accursed place. I barely managed to escape, crawl out and take the ruby. The portal has closed, I am safe, but the others... Oh man. Okay, what, what is this now? Oh, purple ruby, here we go. Okay, that was easy. Um, so we just open up this using the... Purple ruby. Yes, please. Select. Do it. Okay, cool. So... Okay. I think we have... Oh, here we go. A bit more light than last time. Whoa! What is this now? Okay. The bodies. Seems they were running for the exit. Well, now we know why they were running for the exit. Because they were attacked by these bargists. Bargists. Oh, and we have uh, multiple. The bodies. Seems they were running for the yeah, exit. Seems so. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that. We have a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, hostiles in there. Bodies. Okay. Seems they were running for the exit. So, I think it doesn't really matter which way we go. Yeah, I don't think it matters which way we go. This is blocked off. Oh, this is not though. So then, should I go this way? These things that were attacking us, are they specters? I just want to check if they're specters or not, because they seem to be specters. Let me just have a look here. Specters. Yes, they are. Okay. Here we go. Folk of simple or superstitious minds claim committing particularly rotten acts will bring down the wrath of the gods in the form of bargists, phantom dogs which stalk the roads at night. Even if the if there were their origin, bargists if even if this were their origin, <laughs> bargists, saints and sinners alike would need fear Bargists, okay, for they attack both with equal ferocity. Uh, witchers rarely believe in the gods, but they do accept that Bargists exist and are always connected with some sequence of tragic events that happened in the past. Their exploration, their explanation, sorry, however, holds the Bargists result from a curse or a concentration of ill will. Okay, so we need Spectre Oil and then Axie and Yerden, as with any other type of Spectre, so... Let me just get this ready here. Spectre oil. And let's go. Whoa. Holy shit, what the hell was that? Oh crap. 
What is this thing? Giant centipede. Whoa, what the hell? I'm not ready for a giant centipede. I was ready for something else. Whoa! Where are you, buddy? Okay. Come on. Shit. Whoa. Giant centipedes. What the hell are these, man? I mean, I know what they are because we just met one, but insectoids. Giant centipedes. Look at this, man. Giant centipedes are enormous insect-like monsters which can be found in many places in the world but are particularly common in the lands, or more precisely under the lands, of Toussaint. They, there, they often dwell in close committee with shale mars. Oh, sh great. For a sort of monstrous symbiosis has developed between them. Giant centipedes feed on the small creatures which eat Shalemar dung. Okay, hard uh, Kitinos armor covers nearly the entire body of a giant centipede. Sticking out from under his this carapace are rows of hooked limbs. Giant centipedes are able to burrow into the ground with shocking speed only to then appear back on the surface in another place. Once they select a target, they will circle it determinately, trying to get close enough to deliver a blow. They attack primarily with their powerful mandibles, but they also possess glands, allowing them to spew acid, of course. That's just great. Okay. Okay. Anything else in here? Um, can I get up here? Yes, I can. Oh, here we go. Okay, damn. Um, so we could have gone the other way as well. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just do this. And then this. And let's get in here, boy. Yo, 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 Shit. Okay, that's bad. That's very bad, actually. Shit. Come on. Alright. Okay, we took care of a few. But there are more. Which way to go now? There's something in here? Oh, in the other room? Is there some? I think there's something in the other room, though. Like, right here. Whoa. Easy. Come on. Shit. Whoa, what is this? Satchel looks like it belonged to a witcher. Okay. Whoa, here we go. Wolven armor, trousers and boots, and a journal. Whoa ho ho, what is this here? Ab Abona of Car sorry, Abona of Carreras journal. Uh, suppose I shouldn't be surprised Master Tian Sale asks much uh, such a steep price to forge Grandmaster Armor. No other craftsman in the world's his equal. I try to tell 
wise old Vesemir, what we what he gave me would barely be enough for one silver sword. Trekked, trekked half to, halfway across the world to get here from Kaer Morhen, and for what? Uh, I'm gonna have to look around for some work. Later addendum. Today, Tian Sale introduced me to the leader of an art archaeology, whatever, fragment, but in the end we reached a deal. Checked the area out and it seems calm enough, though my medallion did buzz in a few spots near the ruins. That's why I told them to pitch camp a bit further away from the main entrance. Who the blazes knows what might be living inside? They've also mentioned something about a curse, so guess I should expect wraiths, bargists, uh, maybe, damn it, should have asked for more. Tomorrow we start exploring. Okay. Heaven came to Toussaint at Vesemir's request. Interesting. Two bad things ended here for this wolf. Not many of us left alive. Well, too bad for the wolf, exactly. Let's just get in here then. Ooh, what is this now? Old Elven Key. The bodies. Seems they were running for the Oh, this was the What the hell? This was the door. Okay. So that door was locked. I didn't even I didn't even check it. Okay, so like this. So this is the exit. So I should Go this way then? Or? I don't get it. Yep, there is something there. Okay, one second. A witcher brought the ceiling down to bury his oh. foes. Ended up burying oh. himself too. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Alright. Sword, gauntlets, everything. Awesome, and this is silver ore. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that's kind of it, right? By the looks of it, what is this? A Weegenial's letter. What? Wait a second, I, I got something. Yo, I got something. Here we go. I, I... A Wignil, uh, write this missive to you, elven brother from another time, to ensure memory of our sad fate never perishes. After many failed attempts, the treacherous Doin finally managed to reach King Divetaf and stick his flesh with steel. The court medics healed, uh, healing bru the court medics' healing bruise provided no succor, and King Divetaf did not last the night. Uh, at the moment, at that moment, our morale, which had already suffered a great trial during the weeks-long siege, reached rock, rock bottom. But were we to allow the body of our leader to fall into the hands of the Dwain, let them put this head on, uh, let he, them put his head on a pike? The mage Barfion did not have to ponder long. The king's place is in his family crypt, in sight. Thor Hawk. Okay. Uh, I was one of the volunteers who carried the body from the palace through underground tunnels. Yet, somehow, the Dwine picked up our trail and attacked us in the temple. After a short battle, we made a unanimous decision. Barfion shall leave the close and close the entrance to the crypts behind him. We shall stay behind and place the king in his grave. The mage hesitated a short while, yet knew the palace would fall without his support. He left swearing he would soon return once our troops have fought off the Dwine with the help of General Sempolin, whose army should reach us in a day now. Rest of the letter is illegible. Oh, nice. Okay, so we found out what happened here. Cool. Okay. Ooh, here lies our father. He died so that others may leave. May live, sorry, not leave, live. Uh, Epitaph King Divetaf. Cool. And that's it, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. 
Nothing in the back here, no. Okay, let's get out of here and see if we can actually... See if we can actually um, craft these things, am I right? Oh, there's another wraith here, really? Easy. Whoa! Seriously, you wanna mess with me? Okay. Nothing else in here. Well, not really. Let me just have a have a quick look, just to see. So, boots, uh, something Grandmaster. Here we go. Ooh, level 41, actually. Oh, okay, I thought they were level 40. All right. Okay, uh, what the fuck is an infused Lehard hide? I have no idea. Enrich dimaterium plate. Okay, fair enough. Chest armor... Again, and then monster stomach. Shit, okay. Don't know where I'll find that. Uh, infused lizard hide. Alright. Uh, crossbow. No. Gauntlets. Same thing. Missing this infused lizard hide. I need to find out what this is. The infused lizard hide. Uh, and then the silver swords. Let's see. So first one we need enriched dimaterium ingot. So I think we can craft the dimaterium. Uh, I think so. We'll I'll, I'll have a look uh, offline on that. And then the steel sword. The steel sword. This one. Yeah. Dimaterium ingot. Yeah. So I can. I I think I can craft the swords. It's still level 41. Well, it's not that bad because we're almost level 41. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. Now. Now, I think I think it's best to make our way to... Um, to Lafargue. So he can become a Grandmaster. Hello, bandits. You know what? Let's go. Whoa, shit. Wrong sign. Come on, give me the good sign. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They hit like a truck when they hit you. I need to take care of the freaking this guy. Get over here, buddy. Get out of the way. Shit. They are pretty high level, man. Pretty high level. from behind are you uh, hit me from behind oh come over here you little now where's the other one where's the the last one the last one get over here mother f Good, 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 good. I kind of like the fact that they were higher level because they, like, they pose a, a different uh, threat here to me. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. I was actually looking at my uh, at my build here, and I was thinking that maybe I can change some stuff. Ooh, what is this here? Uh, adjunct Philip Borut's notes and baguette with fish pate. Hmm, not bad, not bad. First day of the month of Burka. The first, the very first day, and I already regret agreeing to participate in this expedition. The journey itself will take eight weeks. Besides, I do not believe anyone from Isabelle Duchamp's lost expedition remains alive. It has been years. Professor Ivor has taken a hearty supply of egg salad. 
egg salad sandwiches uh, with him for the road. A few stages are glued together by some sticky substance, substance probably mayonnaise. Ooh, they had mayonnaise, huh? 14th day of the month. Um, we have arrived. Professor Ivor gave the order to pitch camp near the ruins of Termis, the place where the missing group led by Professor Duchamp was supposed to carry out its excavations. Then we drank two bottles of wine and went to sleep. 16th day. Uh, the Termis Place ruins, the very thought of them sends shivers down my spine. Nevertheless, I believe we should begin our search in the ruins themselves. Yet, the professor keeps beating around the bush and spends most of his time curled up with a bottle. My suggestion to head deeper into the woods and look for signs of the expedition was shrugged off with a com comment about my impertinence and an accusation of trying to take over leadership of the expedition. 18th day. The professor has perished. He departed yesterday morning and had not returned to camp by evening. <coughs> Excuse me. We shall soon set out to look for him. Perhaps that drunk card finally dared visit the ruins? Yeah, probably. Never know. What do we have here? Professor Noel Ivor's journal, diagram, to some color guardsman gauntlets. Okay. Dimaterium ingot, because we needed one as well. Lara Doran and Cregan of Laud. Nice. Whoa, that's a lot of books that we're going to read just now. The so-called giant centipedes, or my only comfort in exile. Ithline's prophecy, formula, greater mutagen transmutator, red to green. Okay, 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 okay. So, first off, Professor Noel Ivor's journal. Journal has been kept chaotically, full of stains, blots, and incomprehensible scribblings, and the entries are not dated. Every day I regret what I said then. How could I have been so foolish? Why did I not agree to become her assistant? Fie upon you, base ambition. Oh, Isabel, forgive me. Enough in action. I'm off to Beauclair. If I find you alive, Isabel, I will fall to my knees and plead forgiveness. And if... if you're gone... Enough of this wallowing in self-pity. Time to get to work. I have chosen the most talented and hardworking of my students, and for my assistant, I have named my most clever adjunct, Philip Borut. The Academy Chancellery has accepted the plan for our expedition. We need but collect our equipment, then hit the road. Unbelievable. Philip had the audacity to point out to me that eating egg salad sandwiches while traveling is in a closed carriage is poor manners. What arrogance. And to think I prized him above all my adjuncts. I could not have imagined a worse start to our eight-week journey. A few pages are stuck together by some sticky substance. Again, my mayonnaise, hopefully. Uh, we have arrived. I fear entering these ruins. I fear what I shall find there. I think I lack the strength to face the truth. That impertinent upstart Philip Borut is driving me completely mad. He's accused me of idle, idleness and indecision. How dare he hurl such insults in the presence of the other members of our expedition? He does not understand who my beloved Isabel was, so she, uh, who she is to me. I, I do not wish to... I cannot face the truth. I'm off. Alone, at the moment, for I do not wish them to see me when I find... I will begin by searching the ruins of the temple about, abouting the river. Okay, so he went there. Okay. Letter about Yennefer... No, we read that. Caravan escort. Okay. What am I missing here? One second. Let's uh, let's just go through. I think the the game will uh, No, what? Okay. One second. What have I not read? I have not read this one. Lara Doran and uh, Cregan of Lod. Love knows no bounds, the saying claims. History knows no better proof of this uh, adage uh, than the romance between Lara Doran and Cregan of Lod. She, a powerful el elven sage, bearer of the elder blood, promised to the great Avalok. He, a human mage of great talent and humble birth. She, able to live centuries if not millennia, he likely to live no more than three score years and ten Three score years and ten like each of us. I don't think I get this one. Three score years then ten, and ten. 
Maybe you guys can explain what this particular like saying is because I don't really get it. Okay. They should have hated each other, scorned each other. Instead, they burned for one another with powerful love. Heedless to the war raging around them, to the condemnations and curses raining down on them from all sides, they led a humble and happy life. Soon, Lara was with child, a babe born of Lara and Kragan... Kraganan... Kraganan? Kraganan. Kraganan. Might have joined the best of boys, both races, united them at long last. Alas, this was not to be. Humans considered Kroganon a traitor and renegade. They demanded he abandon Lara, and when he refused, they decided to murder them both. Kroganon died while Lara, still heavy with child, escaped with her life. She ran to Tredegor to beg succor and support from Sero, queen of Redania. What then came to pass? Here, elven and human sources diverge, presenting two irreconcilable versions. According to the chroniclers of the Ain Shade, her pleas did not soften the stony Dwayne heart and the hearts of merciless and cruel humans. When Lara pleading for mercy, if not for her, then, for, then at least for her child, clutched on to the floor of the royal carriage, the queen ordered her maimer to strike with his sword and cut off her fingers. Ew. Uh, that night... Sorry. Crushed by a fierce frost, Lara breathed her last sigh on a hill in the woods, giving birth to a daughter whom she protected with the fading embers of her own warmth. Human legends, however, have Ciro saying, Ask not me for grace, ask instead those whom you have harmed with your magic. Brave you were when you wrought those foul deeds, brave be you now when the pursuit of justice nears. Just as nears. Your sins are not in my power to forgive. In reply, Lara said, My doom is at hand, but yours, Queen, is also nigh. Remember Lara Doran in that terrible hour, Queen. Remember her death and her curse. And know that my curse will hound you and your seed to the tenth generation will it damn your line. Wherein lies the truth cannot be said. Both versions are surely false, for both seek the bla to blacken their enemy. Sad is Lara's end. The hate between races which Kriganon wished so badly to end is now so strong that its darkness has forever obscured the truth of her fate. Wow. Awesome, that was an awesome story. And then, last but not least, the so-called giant centipedes for my only comfortable exile. I think we're just gonna learn about... Yeah, Beast Cherry, okay. Uh, dearly have I paid for my wrongs, being exiled from the beautiful deserts and steeps, steps sorry, of Ophir uh, to this hideous green country where all the scents and flowers are so intense they make me sick, fills my heart with sorrow and regret. Really? Okay. So there is someone, apparently, in this world that prefers the deserts and steppes um, instead of green, um, a, a green country filled with flowers and scents. Okay. My only comfort seems to be a small colony of Scolopendros, or more scientifically speaking, Scolopendromorphs. Scolopendromorphs. Okay. Here uh, referred to as giant centipedes, living in the vicinity of my hut. These wonderful creatures, the sight of which reminds me of home, have most likely chosen this area to settle in because of the presence of shale mars, whose droppings constitute the food of shale mar of smaller animals, which in turn are consumed by scolopendros. Sometimes I sneak up on them when they are feeding and admire their hooked limbs, mandibles so sturdy they seem made of iron, and Kittenos Tauruses shiny enough to let one to gaze upon one's reflection. Okay, we have a uh, yeah, a weirdo here, a weirdo. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not a um, I'm not a fan of insects, so to me that's weird. Um, I'm going to pick everything up because I have a feeling that when I go to this guy to make. Uh, the swords. What is this here? He is going to ask for a lot of money. Money, money, money. Take the diagrams to... Yeah. So why are we going this way? Let's go. Let's go this way. 
Have I missed something here? Just give me a second. Let me just make sure. Yes, I have, of course. One second, Roach. I almost missed some stuff, and you know me. Slower. I don't like to miss anything, if possible. So let's go. I think we have to take the bridge here. Or not. We don't. It's still misty, even though it's like almost lunchtime. Hmm, this is interesting. Is this misty because uh, of the area over here? Is it going to be sunny when we get to Beauclair? Or is it misty because it's sometimes misty in Toussaint as well? Whoa, easy does it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to... Yeah. Whoa, easy does it. Okay, this is the cemetery. We've been here. We are going to go to the city anyway. Oh my god, I should have yeah kept going. Um, so once we're gonna be once we're in the city, I also want to go to that painter because we have a painting to to, to get right, and I think we can also safely go back to Corvo Bianco afterwards. Uh, to have a look at how uh, the the renovation works are going. Banquets and wine. Yeah, I think that's what uh, that's what we'll do. Oh, this is right here. Okay. The newest work by the painter and portrait Okay, here we go. Boom. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. Yes, I actually found something already. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grand Happy Master. to help, my friend. I thank Hopefully you, you'll be able to help me a little bit. So, let me just have a look here really quickly. Here we go, level 41. Of course. Level 41 already. So... Uh, how much will it cost me to make these swords? Just out of curiosity here. Um, this one. This is gonna cost a thousand crowns to make enriched dimaterium ingot okay so enriched dimaterium ingot I need two and two so four enriched dimaterium ingots let me see if I can actually make them here um, I can make dim dimaterium ingots here so I'm, I'm gonna have to make some Like so. And then enriched. What? Are you sh- What? No way! I thought- Oh my god. Okay, I thought they enriched- What? Wait a second. This is bullshit. Acid extract. This is a little bit... I don't like this. See, I don't like this because I thought the enriched dimaterium ingots would be made from dimaterium ingots plus something else. But apparently, there is a enriched dimaterium ore, which is like total bullshit. Uh, 
<laughs> and then this is this Ori Chalcum Ore. What the fuck is Ori Chalcum Ore? And can I get it? Ori Chalcum Ore. I can actually get it from Ori Chalcum. What the hell is this? Ori Chalcum. Ori Chalcum. Oh wow. This is... Okay, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Let me just see here. Ori Chalcum. What are you selling, my friend? No, not crafting. I need... Shop. How much is or this Ori Chalcum crap? Oh, and he, he also has... Look at this. He also has the infused slizzard hide. Which I, I will need. But the... Oh, and he has the enriched dimaterium. Jesus! 2,000 crowns for one? Oh, you must be kidding me, my friend. This one, I, I think I can manage. So I think I'm going to buy this. Like that. And then, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making the right... I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even calculating how much this is going to cost. Um right now but I'm just I just want to make this oh only two that's just great one two okay so I can make two of these oh this is this is kind of bullshit and I can make one of these okay and one second I only have, what? Enriched Dimaterium Ingot? I only have one. Mm, this is annoying. This is very, very annoying. I really want to make this, uh, this set, guys, but, um, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be hard. Infused Slizzard Hide. You know what? I, I just want to see if we can make this. Uh, so... Crafting. Infused. Infused slizzard hide. What do you need for that? You need cured draconid leather and infused crystal. Of course you would. Why wouldn't you? Uh, cured draconid leather. Okay. Cured draconid leather. <laughs> oh shit, but this is going to cost us a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, shit. Cured draconid leather for one enriched infused. So you need one for one. I can only make two, so I am actually going to make two. One and two. And then infused. One and two. Okay, we're slowly, slowly getting low on the funds here uh, infused crystal please tell me this is something we have an infused shard and we can make infused crystal using infused shards oh and we can actually make a few I'm actually gonna make all of them boom just like that okay so we we have all the shards we need now I can actually I can sell them afterwards uh, but I, I, I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to keep these for uh, okay, cured draconid leather. Sorry if this is uh, boring to you guys, um, but um, I really want to to do this, um, and I actually wanted to show it to you uh, because I've m most of the Most of the um, armor sets that I did, I mean, all of the armor sets that I did, I did them offline, so. Three. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Kaboom! Okay, 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 okay. Now, let's do this, boys. Let's see. We are missing enriched dimaterium plate. One. Okay. Well, that's chest armor. Uh, can I actually... Can I... Oh, I can... Um, filter. Filters. F. 
all parts present. Thank you. Do we, can we do anything? No. Well, I don't care for these. Gauntlets. Gauntlets. We can make the gauntlets, guys, because we have one enriched dimaterium ingot, which I was, I wanted to keep for the sword, so, <laughs> we're not going doing that yet. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. 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 Well, um, so, one second. What do I need for the swords exactly? I need... I need enriched dimaterium ingots. That's what I need. And the enriched dimaterium ingots... Um... I'm not even gonna talk about the enriched dimaterium plates, which need two ingots each. Like... Is that... That's a... Bullshit. Bullshit. I call bullshit, man. I call it. Um... Acid extract. Can we buy one of one acid extract from this guy? Yes, we can. Let's buy one and then make enriched dimaterium ore. Let's make one and then. Oh, you have one of the... Okay, got you now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, this is gonna take... Uh, take uh, some research on, on my part, to be honest. On the path. Um, let me see if I can get my... Um, let me see if I can get my portrait. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. This one. Come on. Let, let's find our portrait here. I'm gonna have to sell some of this stuff, so I might continue offline. And maybe, just maybe, next time we see each other, um, I'm gonna have some, some armor pieces. Check this out. People are looking at my portrait, maybe. Are you impressed? Oh my god. What the f... Oh man. Are you kidding me right now? Greetings. Geralt, there you are. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do no, it's not. Um, I'm, I'm gonna f be honest with him. Like, not quite what I was expecting. Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that in fact. Some other details are off too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. Has it? Can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Yeah, I don't care that you're hurt. Perhaps you'd care to buy. Them. Really? Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it. I will. At a special really? Price. What's that special price? A thousand crowns? What? Are you kidding me? Huh. As special as it is, that's still quite a price. Afraid I don't have that much coin. Not a problem. Come back when you do. Though I cannot guarantee someone won't have beaten me to it. Oh man, seriously, I'm gonna have to spend a thousand crowns if I want to get this painting? That's kind of, that's kind of bull crap, to be honest. I mean, I was hoping for something, I mean, better. Like, yeah, I was way, I was expecting for something better. I understand the irony in the whole thing. But honestly, like, I wanted something. I wanted something truly heroic, man. I really did. Oh, look at that. The sun is up. Cool. Uh, well, I think... Yeah, I think we're going to cut this episode here, guys. I'm going to continue in the next one. Um, 
The plan is, let me just let me just look at the secondary quests here, because uh, oh, the plan is to go back to Corvo Bianco, and then from there, uh, we can uh, we can continue on with some other secondary quests. I don't want to progress with the main quest so like that much uh, now because I feel there are so many like secondary quests that we can do, like this one, for example. We should do that turn and face the strange because it's kind of low level at this point crap okay i really want to do these the the low level quests um first before we progress any more with uh, with the main quest so i'm gonna cut this episode here for now let me know what you think in the comment section down below and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one bye bye